advantage of having interactive pumps is you're able to really tailor the messaging and make the fueling experience easier for the customers uh, so they make it's easier to fill up and use your dispensers and they want to come back. This is our CNG alternative fuels dispenser and it, we designed it to be a familiar fueling experience so with this new fuel and customers who maybe haven't filled up with it so much are more comfortable and uh, understand what they're doing. So it uses guided training. So it walks you through each step of the fueling process and automatically has instruction slides that show you how to fill up. Um, so you lift the nozzle to start fueling. So then it, you're fueling. Um, and once you're done, it reminds you to return the nozzle to fueling. And this is to help both the stations with their equipment and the end users with fueling. So interactive content is really important for everything we do right now. So if you look across the stand here, you will see that more or less every single pump we have here has a media display that is really there to make sure that the end user, the consumer, can interact with the dispenser and give our um, retailers an opportunity to really promote the products at the pump and anything else that they sell around their, uh, their forecourt. Uh, right now I'm standing in front of Aquanium 510M which is a product primarily targeted at the Europe, Middle East and African markets and a little bit into the APAC regions. Um, this is a new model that we're launching early next year. Uh, so first on display at Unity Expo a few months ago and now here in Vegas. So what is unique about this is that we're really taking into account that our retailers might not be ready to do everything in one go. So the pump you see behind me here has a 17 inch media display, but when buying it uh, originally, they may only want a small price display, but this allows them to then easily upgrade uh, and put the display in at a later stage in case they're not ready to do everything they want. The X concept represents Petrotex looking to the future, thinking about customers' return on experience through compelling interactions at the forecourt. Um, the fueling retailing experience hasn't changed a lot for a long time, so this has basically made that people the majority of clients just stay on a forecourt just long enough to fuel their cars, leaving missed opportunities of engagement with a retailer. So um, until now, there, is, uh, there hasn't really have been a way of dealing with this, of attracting this captive audience and presenting them re real uh, relevant offers. And uh, that's why we developed the X concept. The X concept intends to really transform the forecourt of something or of a place where you just go there for fuel to a place where you really want fuel also but you want to interact with a retailer and want to understand relevant offers that he has for you. For that we develop a, a concept that uh, basically is divided around three components. The first one is the right mobile uh, fuel app uh, where you can start the process the right way and really have a seamless experience in terms of payment. The second one is the right user interface, so it's, it's very friendly and familiar to the user and it enables you to have a, a very speedier process. And the rest, the, the, the last one, is really the, the, the special recipe, which is an effective bridge between the fuel dispenser and the convenience store by using the virtual C-Store catalog that we have built in on the pump powered by intelligent uh, client segmentation. Gilbaco is a market leader in technology. Um, we have been known to do gas pumps for several years, but we're not only into that. We're also at a cutting edge of technology. We're looking at how do we take the gas station to the next level to make it uh, blend with modern technology as we go. So today here we're showcasing one of our leading edge technologies that we're looking into right now. Um, this dispenser here, as we can show you, has got a facial recognition camera. Uh, it's got a large touch display that uh, you can do more with. It helps with interacting with customers. What we're looking at right now is people are always going to buy gas. They're going to come to the gas station. But for that two, three minutes that you've got a customer on your site, what are you really going to do to them? What are you going to do with them? How do you engage with your customers? How do you capture their attention and do upsell? So with this camera here, it's able to detect um, my gender type, it's able to detect um, a sort of, uh, to an extent, what age range I might be into, and it, might, it helps with generating the, uh, the content that we're going to show on the dispenser. So as you mean, I come in and I pick up the, the nozzle to try and fuel. We're looking Select at technology where now you have uh, a guided uh, voice, for example, that tells me what to do. 
um, while we're moving to technology, not everybody is advancing at that same pace. So you have a large touch display, you have the older generation who are not probably as versatile with touch display as the younger generation. So what do I do? What do I, what do I select? What do I do? So you have that voice guidance that is walking me through what to do. This here is a, a concept that we are now showing. We have a smaller touch screen that we're about to launch uh, sometime next year. Uh, we're looking at this and we're working with uh, merchants and other stakeholders in the industry to find out how we get these technology moving in the industry. As you will understand, there are several other things that we need to look into. So for example, it's not just about having a display of the sort, but how do we protect the display? So we're talking about graffiti, for example, customers are worried about how do, if you came in and it was graffiti. So we have products, for example, that you can put on the screen. And if you came and it's been graffiti, you just peeled it off and replace it. So there's a few other things that we're putting in place and we're working through that roadmap with what we're releasing the product timeline.